Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultra Tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the Dynamic Select tool. The uh, Dynamic Select tool is one of our developer tools. Uh, just like the Dynamic Rename, we can find it within our developer category. So we're going to be dealing with the example that Alteryx provides us so that everybody has the same data to work with as they follow along with this video. We can also search for dynamic select if we can't find the developer category and we can open the example from there. But let's go ahead and grab a dynamic select tool now. We can use the dynamic select tool to output certain field types. So I'm going to select the none button and then just grab strings and vstrings and only select my string fields. You'll see I just have my employees and my managers versus before I had some date fields as well. I had some byte fields and then some integer fields, but I really only wanted to end up with employee and manager. So that's all I got. There are some button shortcuts that we can use as well. So if we only want to grab our numeric fields, we can just click the numeric button and we'll only get bytes, integers, fixed decimals, floats, and doubles. So looking at our metadata here, you'll see that we don't have any date fields, we don't have any string fields, just the ones that we want. We dropped off employee manager and the company join date. But we're only keeping our, uh, our numeric values. Next up, we're going to select via a formula using the field position. So we're going to change the drop down here to select via a formula. We're going to look at our fields, field references. And we're going to say where our field number equals one following the example. We can say or if our field number equals three. So we're going to get the employee field from just selecting field number one here. We can say or if field number equals three or if field number equals seven. And that's going to give us the employee field, the commercial sales for 2015, and then the manager field as well. So let's hit the run button and take a peek here. And just as we expected, we've got fields number one, number three, and number seven. Finally, we're going to use dynamic select with an if statement. With our if statements, whatever's true means that we're going to be selecting our field. If it's false, then we won't be selecting our field. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to change our uh, uh, drop down here to select the via formula. I'll go ahead and just paste in this expression, but we're going to say if it is a string or a date and the field number is greater than six, then we want it to be true, meaning we want either field seven or eight that's a string or a date. Otherwise, false. So we're going to end up with these uh, fields. Uh, for manager and company join date. And uh, those are going to be the two fields that we're going to have selected, our number seven and number eight fields. And this would actually work without the is string or date because uh, these are the only fields that are greater in uh, position than six. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.